Okay, well, coming to you, it's a July the 25th of 2019. I faced a dilemma recently. It caused me to do a lot of investigative work and tech specking and looking at a resource called Geek, Geek Score uh, to be able to find out what, what am I going to do with an Apple computer mid-2010 uh, to be able to keep up with the operating system. At the end of the month, I believe it's called Catalina. They're going to this Catalina operating system the end of this month, again, July. And uh, if you're watching the video, you probably found out, like myself two days ago, that we're not going to be able to keep up with the OS. They're essentially dropping us. It's okay. They've been able, we've been able to, even through Mojave, keep up with the operating systems. Briefly, if you haven't upgraded to Mojave, uh, you can look at the Apple website or other things out there. There's a lot of resources that'll tell you that you may have to update your graphics card. For me, the investment, I actually had to buy two of this 134 it's called an MSI RX 560 Aero. Was worth it, not only to keep up with the latest operating system, which I can get into those benefits a little bit later if there's time, but then also to have faster performance. It uses the metal. That's, of course, you've heard about that, read about that within Mojave. I'm not going to get too into that because we're actually going to be talking about upgrading to uh, the Catalina. But it uh, allowed me to use the cores. It allows me to use the functionality of the Final Cut and the rest of the computer by upgrading and using these new... Uh, graphics card. So the, that Apple pushed me into graphics card is a little uncomfortable. I didn't want to spend any more money. I think it's worth it and I thank you Apple for that. Let's talk about getting into Catalina. Catalina for me, my family, my business meant three options. You go with either a Mac Mini and I guess it depends on what you're doing. Are you just doing it's called linear work, not linear editing, but linear work. Are you just surfing the web? Are you going Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel? If you're just doing those things and not, uh, even if you're using Adobe Premiere, it doesn't use all the cores of the computer, um, then maybe a Mac Mini is, uh, is for you. Maybe you can do some uh, 1080p, maybe not uh, uh, in real-time editing to be able to do 4K or anything that requires rendering or 3D, but maybe you can get away with a $400 used iMac Mini and that will help you evolve and keep up with the latest operating systems. Others are getting the iMac. They're paying a little bit more because you're getting that beautiful screen with the retina display. It's arguably faster than the Mac Pros of 2013. Uh, so that's an option. I like to have the six monitors. Um, I like to have the option that the Mac Pro uh, eye trash can uh, gives me of having the six Thunderbolt ports, excuse me. Um, so again, I told you earlier, I went with the quad core for a couple of reasons. The quad, only four, not six, not eight or 12 helped save me a lot of money. Uh, I think I'm actually in $1,600 with a few upgrades for the one that I'm having shipped to me right now. Um, I uh, do editing about once a week. For some, that's like a project. Every once a week, that seems like a lot of editing. It's still not worth it to me to be able to have blazing fast or even faster speed that I have right now with the, uh, did I go into that already? I have a 2010. Uh, the processing speed is about as fast as it goes. It's a 3.5 gigahertz. Again, this is on the cheese grater Mac Pro that's driving these six monitors, so it allows me to do work on average about once a week within Final Cut Pro 10. It allows me to use all six cores. It has a six core on it. I, I don't need the speed. I can't, literally as I'm talking to you this fast, I can't myself process and work any faster than the Final Cut 10 using that computer will allow me. So if I had to step down cores, so be it. I've saved money, and I've also stepped up by going to a quad core the uh, processing speed. So I arguably, I'd love to hear your comment if you want to disagree, I'd love to hear it, have the fastest computer for someone that's doing just daily work that we all do. We're not all on Final Cut 10 from nine to five unless you work for a company or you're just, you're just paid to edit. I have the fastest computer for everything I want to do. Uh, it's stable. I, in my particular case, this is rare, but I like to use the six monitors for productivity. I have a lot of different things open. That is where I paid a little bit more and did do an upgrade in RAM. RAM helps you kind of in that department. Processing speed helps you in things, reliability, stability. Um, so I think those were the things I wanted to get to here. I wanted to keep this brief. I uh, was thinking of getting into the uh, reasons we want to keep with the latest and greatest operating system, but I, I think I'm already long right now. I'm already seeing about three minutes, but real briefly, any of those that are editing in the cloud, you're using a program that's not downloaded on a disk, you're going to have to be forced to upgrade because, like, for example, I, I know of someone that's using an editing program uh, for websites. They create websites using this interface. It's cloud-based, meaning they don't have a physical copy of the actual program. As that evolves, you have to keep up with it. 
And what happens is it gets, it gets buggy, it gets slow, or altogether it won't work. And tech support, first thing they'll ask you is what computer you have and what operating system you have. And they're always going to fall back to say, you're using an inferior operating system. We can't really help you until you have what's recommended because you're going to have all these glitches and bugs. So um, that's a great reason to upgrade um, and stay with the latest, in this case, Catalina uh, that's coming out. Uh, what are some other reasons to uh, uh, want to stay with the latest, greatest? Uh, I found that surfing the web, and we all do that. I did a lot of that for research in the last two days to get all this information for the making this the big decision. Uh, Yahoo News, maybe there's an article, maybe there's a story, maybe there's a video. The video uh, will be buggy and drop out um, because you want to stay with the latest operating system, which allows you the latest version of Java. What is the other one? The latest version of Flash to be able to watch videos. You'll be seeing uh, problems with videos. Again, some of this I could be ill-informed, but I know that I've used old operating system and kind of pushed it a little bit. I've had a lot of problems even in surfing the web. Things just don't open. They don't work as they're supposed to. So um, I guess in conclusion, just it's called futureability or what's the word? Future-proof. Getting a computer to be future-proof. For better or for worse, like it or not, Apple has stayed with the same Mac Pro for just forever. Compared to the rate, remember the G4, or the G3, to the G5, to the uh, Mac Pro and so on, They've really slowed down in development, so we can keep our computers longer. Um, Apple graciously is allowing us to continue to upgrade, whether we need to go buy more uh, graphics card or what. Um, and so it's just what we got to do. We got to buy a new system. In my case, I, uh, again, didn't pay more than $1,500. You got to get on eBay right now, because at the end of the month here in July, when, when Catalina is announced, everyone's going to know that they have an inferior, obsolete computer and they're all going to be going on the World Wide Web. They're all going to be buying up Macs. You can get the quad. You can get the 6-core, 8-core, 12. It's up to you. There's not many quads left. I, uh, I got one of the last. It was a great deal. It was local. In fact, I actually was able to go in and pick it up. So love to hear your comments. I'm sure with my two days of research, I didn't get everything. I'm sure a lot of my information misunderstood or just straight out flat wrong. Correct me in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I'm kind of doing an experiment here as I'm doing this public service announcement to see if I can get some extra hits on an otherwise kind of a slow channel, maybe a subscriber or two, I'd really appreciate it. So signing off, good luck to you, and uh, have a great day.